Okay, ladies and gents, boys and girls, uh, I am going to be unboxing the Sony A7 IV. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is John Sparkman. I'm a wedding photographer in Birmingham in England, and you can find my work at jdsweddings.com. Uh, I have been quite publicly on my website and also on YouTube, making my move over from Fujifilm gear to Sony gear. I have been working with a hybrid of a Sony A7 III and an X-T3, which I'm filming with right now. Uh, since about October last year and I have been blown away by the performance of the Sony a7 III The specs of it the sharpness the autofocus everything, you know, it's, it's such a such a good camera that it can perform so well So when it came around to it and the UK finally had stock of the a7 IV aka today uh, I went down the shop and picked mine up from Wex and today We're just going to do a little unboxing and first impressions without even turning it on so I've got my camera up high up here. Gonna be able to look down at what's in the box. And we'll first off start with just cutting the seal right at the top. So let's go for this. Okay. Not expecting like the world inside this. It's it's not gonna be the most fancy thing. It's just an unboxing, but it's really handy to look inside. You know, when I'm whenever I'm purchasing new gear I always like to see what's in the box just so I know what I do or do not have to buy. So we have some leaflets, receive some money off your next purchases, extended warranties, all the good stuff. Got some crate here and we've got a UK plug and a European plug. I'm gonna say it's European. I was wrong last time when I did the future film unboxing. I think that's a European. Might be American, might be Australian. It's not English. Uh, the thick manuals that no one ever reads. Let's see what we've got. Guarantee, register, reference, another reference guide, another reference guide. <laughs> Recommending using the expensive, uh, tough read and write memory cards, which to be fair, if I was doing a 4K video and all that, and you know, the higher end stuff, probably would get the tough cards. Uh, lens range QR and the help guide in different languages. Pretty handy, probably will need it. But let's get rid of all this. Going deeper, we do have another um, QR code to keep dust from entering the camera. You've got to, you know, cover it up. These kind of easy peasy things. And inside, that's quite nice. It's all eco. I'm a big fan of eco packaging. I really dislike plastic when we can avoid it. Uh, we have a <laughs> mysterious envelope. What's in mysterious envelope number one? Let's have a little look. What is this going to be? Present? Surprise? Oh, a real nice USB-C to A um, cable. That is really high quality as well. Big fan. Okay. The A7 IV strap, which is uh, looks like a leather-like, maybe not leather, but leather-like um, covering. And that is nice and hand-stitched, which is actually really nice to see. Uh, you can see it just there. Hand-stitched A7 IV, so you can absolutely flex on your friends. We have got a little cloth packaging for the batteries. The, okay, okay, okay. What's this? Okay, I'm actually interested. I found something for once in a packaging that I don't know what it is. That is a USB on one side and a figure eight power adapter on the other side. That is, looks like a capture card. Let's keep on going. One battery. This is the same Z100s that the A7 III takes, uh, which is quite nice actually, because it means I've already got five or six of them. And the main attraction, right in the middle. Let's get that open. There we go. A7 IV. Excellent. I did handle one of these when I was in the shop. Uh, and I had just been off the back of shooting a wedding, so I was looking at my A7 III. The grip on this is massive. What an upgrade on a grip. I mean, it takes the same battery, but how is that so big? That's like, I've got big hands, I'm six foot three, so I've got massive hands and that is huge. Uh, it's real nice to have a C. 
it's real nice to look around the camera as it's brand new and be that guy who does this. There we go. It's mine now. <laughs> uh, so we've got some um, strap lugs on the side, and I've heard that these are a bit more, um, they've been redesigned so they don't rattle. We've got big old sensor right in the middle. I'm going to cover that up for now. Mm -hmm. Real nice, we've got that flippy screen which we just get from the bottom. And we can have at any old angle which is real nice, so incoming for vlogging, that's quite handy actually. I don't really need to use the monitor and the big old battery at the back, so I can just keep it like this. That's real nice, and if I want to keep it nice and protected in my bag, I will just fold it back. And it is, yeah, so it, it would do down as well. So we've got on the top camera there, we've got down back, up, forwards, and folded as well. Got a nice cover for the contact pins there. Uh, I have just bought a specific flash, the Godox uh, V860, for my uh, Sony cameras, and you've got to really jam that thing in there to get in good contact with these. So hopefully the uh, a7 IV is going to be a touch easier. Obviously no pop-up flash. They simplified the uh, Passum dial at the top so we've got three custom modes now which is real nice obviously your manual for shooting photos and then i would set the one two threes i'd set that to 25 frames a second uh, 100 frames a second on two and three i'd probably set for like a, an hd super long recording function so if i need to do a streaming or i want to just take it out and have a, a low uh, file size thing for like a, a vlog or something i would set that to three Feels really smooth, which is nice. We've got the uh, movie record button that's relocated from that really annoying position, which is just here, to there, which is C1 on a A7 III. I've actually configured my A7 III to have C1 be fire the movie mode. Uh, C2, we've got a multi-select dial at the top and at the front. And then we've got this uh, dial here on the side, which used to be the... Um, Aperture priority, you know, aperture compensation dial, so plus one, minus one if you're shooting in a semi-auto mode. Uh, and that is, I guess, uh, it's, apart from being lockable, I guess it's assignable now. So you can put whatever you want in. I'm probably going to put ISO in there. That just sounds like something I would do. You have got your C1 now up there. So C1 and recording have basically switched places with each other. Um, much bigger uh, multi-select tool with a better gear on the top. Got your dial, your bin, your trash. Let's have a little look inside. Oh, oh, ah, there we go. Okay, that that's different. So to get into the slot, this is like my old Canon back in the day. You have, um, let's see if we can get the top camera to look at it. We have a um, switch there you press down and pull sideways to gain access. And straight away I can see inside you can actually fit a massive card in slot uh, one, which is now at the top. They've swapped over since the A7 III. Uh, that will take a CF Express A or an SD slot. And slot two will take a SD regular. Um, so I guess there's more function, more variety that you're able to get going with it. Um, what is this is my <laughs> main question. It says five volt on the back, so... Is this going to be a power inverter just so we can charge it? I'm guessing it's going to be with this cable here. That makes a lot of sense because they didn't give me a battery uh, charger, which is a weird one. It's a good thing I've got a couple lying around. Let me just pop that in the bottom. Put it in backwards. There you go. Pop that in. So I'm imagining these just string together and that's a really portable little USB-C or or something. It's, it's 5 volts, which isn't the highest in the world. Yeah, AC adapter. There you go. thought it was a capture card. It turns out it's a really small power adapter. So that will go into the side. I'm imagining we have then got USB-C in here. Let's see if I can actually gain access to these doors instead of being flappy panels. There we go. Oh. Okay, that's something as well. So we have a much larger HDMI port on the side. Is that full size or is that mini? That's a much bigger HDMI port there. And are these doors ever gonna come off if we give them a pull? That is the question. 
can't see any signs of the release on them. So that's a bit of a pain that they just stick like this. Okay, fine, fine. Another port and another port. So we've got, yeah, we've got your um, USB-C there and it says charge, so that's a good sign. That would be your microphone in red, that would be your headphones in black, that would be a data transfer, one at the very bottom. And it's quite nice, you can uh, pick and choose which ones of these you want to have open. So I could have your headphone and then pop this one down and have the HDMI. Is there really not a way that we can get that out? That is a pain in the backside. No worries, these things happen. Overall, a very nice look at the camera first opinions. Very small power adapter, very big grip, uh, lots of refinements on this thing, uh, which has made it a lot easier to navigate and, and shoot with. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we do have just in the top, just behind the passam dial, we've got the select mode where you can go photo, video, or slow and quick. So you can do time lapses or other variables of, of shutter speeds and that kind of stuff. And that is lockable, which is really nice. So you're not gonna accidentally nudge it. Uh, with the right configuration, I'm gonna get this to almost exactly match my A7 III to start with. Then when I've got some more playtime, I will go around and explore things like the uh, Cine style or Cine tone or uh, whatever the new uh, profiles are for the Sony and uh, really put it through its paces. Coming in the second video, and this will be just after this one, so stick around, is gonna be the unboxing of the all new, brand new, Samyang 2470 for Sony E. This is a zoom lens by Samyang, and it's designed for videographers and photographers in mind, AKA myself. If you like the look of this content and you wanna stick around in the future, just consider subscribing. See you in a future video.